hello guys it's Mickey welcome to my channel and if you're just into my channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time there's an upload coming from me well I notice some of you be like wow your hair is flying <laughs> there's a fan in front of me I don't get to feel heat so um today being Wednesday and as I promised you guys I was going to teach you guys how to make soap yes soap we shall learn today but um that's by the way um something came to my notice someone actually um made me understand something that people are defrauding using my name actually to defraud people they'll create a whatsapp group saying oh this whatsapp group was created by mickey skincare and uh, mickey look at mickey mickey is actually very good when it comes to talking about reviews she knows about soap making she knows about how about cream she's very very good i'm a i'm a friend to mickey i'm very very close to mickey so and mickey is mickey's ebook is so 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 and so amount 40k please um you can actually purchase the ebook through me i will talk to mickey on your behalf and i'll get back to you you know because when the person showed me all the whatsapp chat i was i was like what Cause at first she was like oh mickey i i used to i joined your you, you whatsapp group i was like what whatsapp group i've never had a whatsapp group i've never created one i never intend to create one what has whatsapp group got to do with mickey i don't have a whatsapp group so if anyone creates any whatsapp group in my name it's on your own detriment you end up losing your money or they end up teaching you something false mickey has nothing to do with it because when the lady was talking to me it made me feel like i was the one that defrauded her she was sad saying that eh, she i'm not going to name the person because she said the name but i'm not going to say it i'm just saying it out as a warning and making people aware mickey does not have a a, a whatsapp group that is why i intend to get a mobile app we don't do whatsapp group it's a mobile app I'm, I'm trying to get the mobile app. I already have a website. If you want to, patro to patronize my ebook, you go on my website, mickeyskincare.com, www.mickeyskincare.com. You go there in the forum. Even there's a chat site where you can talk to Mickey directly. You can always talk to me on my website directly. I don't have a WhatsApp group. I have never created one. I will not create a WhatsApp group. So please, please, please desist from using my name to make money for yourselves. I'm begging you, don't put me in trouble before someone will come and arrest me in my house saying I defrauded some people. Please, please, and please, anybody who creates a WhatsApp group, put in my picture using my name, it's a lie. They are liars. They are trying to scam you and eat your money. Be careful, be wary. That's all I'm gonna say. So now, let's go make our soap. All right guys, so we're about to make our black soap into a solid form. So the ingredient we're going to use is we're going to use lye. I'm using um, 50 gram of lye. This is 50 gram of lye. We would use honey. This is honey. I have to be careful. It's totally filled up. This is half cup of honey. We would also need snow white powder. It's actually <laughs> it's been solidified. But we would need snow white powder. We use two tablespoons of our snow white powder. We would use kojic dip. We would use two tablespoons of also our kojic dip powder. Hope you know. Two tablespoon equates 30 m 30 grams. Sorry. So that means we're using 30 gram of Kojic Deep, 30 gram of our snow white powder. We'd we'll also need a sandalwood powder, which is also um two tablespoons, which is 30 gram as well. And we'd we'll need our milk. Okay. Um I couldn't get goat milk because I placed order, I couldn't get it, so I had to use milk, plain um, pig milk. So we'd we'll also need to use two tablespoons of our pig milk. And um, we we'll use our rose water instead of distilled water. I'm going to be using rose water instead of distilled water. So we we'll need rose water. We we'll need our coconut oil because we need oil to help um, our lye be um, in a in a actually good shape and in good state. So we we'll need oil to help shimmer our skin and also castor oil. We we'll need castor oil and we we'll also use carrot oil. Well, make sure you get the main carrot oil get the pure carrot oil if you're using if you want to make your black soup and we would also need our black soup our ghana black soup that is one part of our ghana black soup i shredded it so look at it i had to cut it into um piece 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 like this so that's all we're gonna do so what we just have to do now is we're gonna use a one cup of our 
um, rose water. That's 250 ml of our rose water. That's what we're going to use now. Open it up. Okay. Alright. So, I hope you guys are watching. I'm just trying to be careful so that it doesn't spill. You know, I'm not wearing a glove now. So, I have to be careful. So, the light shouldn't just spill on me. So, we just pour the rose water into this. Okay. That's one cup of our rose water. 250 ml. Okay, this is 250 ml. Please don't go around putting something else. And our light will pour the light into the water. And it's actually preferable to use spatula. Okay, get your make sure you try and get spatula. We we'll try and mix up the lye together. It's getting hot right now, so mm. that smells so horrible. Okay, um, we have to keep it somewhere else, so just. Set it aside and we'll get back to it later. Okay. So that's been set aside. Let's move on. So what we have to do right now is get our um double boiler. There's no light right now. So we're going to use it the local way where we get to put a pot, you know, and all that. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so for now, we're going to use a double boiler method. We don't have light. That's why I'm using this old method. But all the same, it's still going to be useful. So just got to plug Yes, and um, yeah, so this is uh, um, you know, Ghana soup. That's what I mean. Okay, all right. So our honey, we fixed in one wrap of Ghana soup and this is our honey which is half um, half cup of honey, that's 125 ml of our honey. Sorry, let me use a different spatula compared to this spatula I used in making my lye. Sorry, I'm talking from a far distance. So. All right. Okay. So we just have to wait for that to um, dissolve, and we we'll also use our carrot oil. Naturally, for the carrot oil, we would need. Hold on, let me measure it because I need to measure it. Okay. Okay. So for the carrot oil, you can use there about from 50 ml to 100 ml. It depends on what you want to do. So you have to add your carrot oil. As well as your honey and your black soap. So we'll cover it up and um, we'll get back to it later. Alright, so you can see how it looks like now. Now we have to add 250 ml of our coconut oil into it in order to help the, um, the black soap dissolve properly. So that's what I just did now. 250 ml of our coconut oil. Don't worry, some people were like, oh, is it not much? Well, no, it's not much. We've forgotten we also created a lie. We have a lie that we set aside somewhere else. So the oil is not much at all. So we have to just mix it together and incorporate it together. And um, allow the black soap to get melted completely. And we'll get back to you guys later. Okay.
Okay, um, so this is, um, I added coconut oil for people who are just joining. I had to add coconut oil. And yes, the oil is present around it because I need the, um, the um, Af um, African black soap to be really, really moist and soft. Because you can see some, there are some granules there. So we need to, not like granules, but big, big particles. Because I didn't actually grate it. I just had to break them into small chunks. So that's why I need, I, I had to put the coconut oil to help us uh, make it as soft as possible before adding it into our lye. So you can see how soft it is compared to when we actually just uh, shredded the, um, the African black soup. So that's why the coconut oil is overing around it so as to make it really, really soft. You need to add that oil into it. So if you actually want to go ahead to add other oils, no wahala. But the reason why I added coconut oil is because, uh, you know now, we Africans, we love coconut oil so much. So, but I'm not a coconut fan, you know now. But I just had to use coconut oil. So, um, we just have to cover it up again. Okay, we're almost there. So, the next thing to do is to go get the light. Because now, Nepal has brought the light. So, we just have to put on the crock pot and um, fix our oil in the crock pot at a low heat. And now, um, sorry about that, and we'll get back to it later. So, while the black soap is getting heated properly, um, we have to use our oils with the crock pot since it just got the light. So, um, I just have to use my spray and alcohol on it. It's actually hot, so um, this is a very clean handkerchief. I've not used this for anything, it's actually very clean. So, we just have to spray the alcohol and um, yeah, hot. So, we have to use castor oil. We want 25 ml of our castor oil, so we're going to dash in this place right now. And um, I'm going to use 250 ml of our coconut oil. Forget the fact that we added 250 ml of coconut oil in the last one. So we're also going to use 250 ml of coconut oil here. And we have to eat it up. That's all I'm going to do. Um, yes, we just have to heat it up. That's all. So we'll get back to it later. Okay, so for now, we just have to take it off and fix in our lye. That's what we're gonna do now. It's hot enough, so we're gonna push it in and fix our lye into it, but gradually. Okay. Smell is so horrible. Okay, so we'll leave it in to cook. Naturally, I would have whisked, whisked it now, but it's not the most. Since I'm using spatula to mix it, and you know it's a small oil now, it's not much. So it doesn't really matter. So all we just have to do now is to cover it up and um, get back to it later. So let's take a look. We would have to take a look at our black soap as well and see what's happening over there. Okay, so um, I have to put off the gas first before I check it. So I don't get to have the water spilling all around me. So now you can see how the black soap looks. Um, you can see how soft it's becoming gradually. I'm sorry, the light is a bit uh, behind us. 
guess let me let me actually set the light Sorry. okay so you can see how it looks My backlight is broken. That's why it's taking a long time before it comes on. So right now you can see it. Okay. So you can see how soft it's becoming. Now we get to add our sandalwood powder into it. Okay. And we mix it up together. Looks like rubber. Right. See how darkish it's become, just like Amala or Abula. <laughs> All right, so um, all right, I'm gonna put on the um gas again and leave it up to heat up for a while, and uh, we'll get back again. Okay, so let me just mix it to bits. Put on the gas again. So um, so it can start heating up again. All right. So we'll take we'll all talk right, later. So right now we have to whisk it. That's all we just have to do now. So, um, Right, so we just have to keep mixing till we notice uh, like a thick consistency. Okay, it shouldn't like look like water anymore. It should be thick. You can see it's changing.
<laughs> All right. Guess because um, we are I st my uh, my um, crock pot is switched off, so I have to put it on in order for it not to actually go gaga on me. So I have to put it on. All right. So for now, what we have to do now is to get our vegetable glycerin. I'm sorry I didn't introduce vegetable glycerin last time, but uh, we need vegetable glycerin to help dissolve our whitening um, agents. So we get our vegetable glycerin. That's, we use 250 ml of our vegetable glycerin. We put it into our container. Okay, so we get our Kojic dip. This is two tablespoons of Koji dip. Okay, and we mix it together. Though before it actually dissolves the wild boar, it's actually the best uh, process to use in dissolving your acids. Okay, use vegetable glycerin. It's actually very good in dissolving your acid. It's really good in helping you to dissolve it. Because you can't just add it like that into the soup. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so we get our snow white powder as well. And we'll add it into it to dissolve it. It might take a while because the snow white powder has already formed into a uh, thick state. Make sure you dissolve your powders before adding it into anything you want to add it into. Make sure you dissolve it. Either you dissolve it with whitening and um, glycerin, you know. Or rose water, it can dissolve it with rose water, it's actually also good, but not any kind of rose water, it will be warm rose water, that's what you're going to dissolve it with. But if you're using glycerin, you don't need to warm the glycerin, you just dissolve it with the glycerin like that. I guess I need a, a high on spoon, so as to break the particles down. Sorry, I have to use my spray now for... Okay. Okay. So has to break in the particles. Okay. The reason why it was so thick like this is because uh, the air now I allowed air to get into it, so that's why. Not that I really opened it up like that. But... Okay. So we just have to keep dissolving it. So it melts so completely. We shouldn't allow this one to delay us because we're also going to add the milk into it. Yes, we use the vegetable glycerin to dissolve the milk. Because yeah, we're supposed to use rose water to do it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Rose water would have done a good job, but I just didn't feel like warming up my rose water. I was, I'm just too lazy to warm up my rose water. So this is our lightning black suit. Now for people who have a sensitive skin like mine, okay? So instead of going through all this, you have to also add your sulfur make sure you add sulfur into it so you don't get to have any reaction those are people with sensitive skin and people with sensitive skin and that was why i had to reduce the uh, the powders we get to add because naturally i was supposed to still add oat powder rice powder and the rest but i limited it because you know some with sensitive skin they don't really roll well that well with all those ingredients so limit it make sure you limit it don't add all the bobo to go into it so as not to damage someone's skin when you're mix, making something, making a soap, making a cream, be considerate of the person next to you. You know, yes, I have a sensitive skin, but at the same time, this skin type of mine is actually making me very considerate of other people's skin. Because everybody's skin can be like mine. And at the same time, I have to watch what I keep on my skin. So since I watch what I use on my skin, I also have to be cautious of what people use on their skin so we don't get to damage the skin. I have to break this thing into pieces. I have to shred it. 
I'm still gonna add more um, vegetable glycerin because this vegetable glycerin is not enough. I'm still gonna add more, but not now. Probably into the lye. We're gonna add more into it. show you guys um, the okay. light so right now we have to fix in our um, vegetable glycerin into it so that's what we're going to do so we're fixing vegetable glycerin into our lye Okay, so if you're just joining us, um, I'm actually making a solid black, whitening black soap actually. Solid whitening black soap, not just any black soap. So I used the um, kojic acid, I used the um, snow white powder and I used milk. I didn't, I couldn't get goat milk, I used the um, pig milk, but it's preferable to use goat milk. But I didn't get goat milk and I had already promised to make the cream, the, the, sorry, to make the soap for you guys today. So I didn't want to back down on it since I couldn't get the goat milk. Um, I know some people will be like, hey, what's so special about that goat milk? Well, that milk is really nourishing on the skin. Really, really nourishing compared to pig milk. It's really, really good on the skin. Can be used on kids, can be used on all skin. And to give you a very good and clarifying skin. So, um, what I just added now is our vegetable glycerin. I use vegetable glycerin to liquidate my snow white powder as well as my, um, my kojic dip and my milk. So, I used it to liquidate it. Now, it's not a must you use a, um, what did I use? It's not a must use vegetable glycerin. You can decide to use, uh, rose water. But if you want to use your rose water, you need to warm up the rose water before dissolving it. But I didn't need to warm up the, the vegetable glycerin because vegetable glycerin is actually very, very good in dissolving most of all these whitening additives. But if you want to use rose water to dissolve it, you warm it up. So it's, the rose water won't be hot, but it will be warmed up. Then you can add your whitening additives. So we'll come back later before we add our black soap into this and just let it heat up for a while. And um, later. Okay. So we are here. I mistakenly used this spoon to clean my other spoon. So you can see why it's like this. I'm not happy. I mistakenly used it to clean. To um, get some things out which shouldn't be so. But all the same, we are putting our black soap now. That's why the color changed completely. Okay. So... You can see how blackish it is, very dark, like doo doo wash. So, just have to be careful how I mix it so it don't get to have bubbles everywhere. I'm going to actually use the mixer to mix it. So, I just have to mix it a little so it blends in before I use the mixer to mix it. It's pretty late. I started in the evening and look at the time it's still late before i even rounded off we're about to round off we'll soon put in our mold 
so we'll probably see how it gets to solidify by tomorrow you know when i make a new video by tomorrow i'll show you guys how it solidifies and all that so okay oh don't go around staining my tiles okay all right so what I'm trying to avoid the bubbles I don't want it to start bubbling So I to allow it to cook a little bit, then we'll put it in the mold. That's all. Let's see, um, Looks like um chocolate. Ha ha ha. Okay, let me just blend it a little bit and I'm done. So we just have to get the mold and uh, it's ready. Okay, let's go right up a bit. Okay. Just a bit and uh, we're done. Okay, so the soap is ready. But I'm actually going to be scooping it out with uh, a cup. So I forgot to put it in um, the mold. You see the mold? So, yeah, the thick one, we have to take it out. We'll scoop it out. Let's hold on. So, I don't have to use this a cup to do it. The thick one will be scooped out. Definitely gonna pour. Okay, so uh, yeah, excuse me. it up ah, that's the best way we could take it out yeah. okay so i just have to spray my screen up all on it okay um okay. 
So if you guys are wondering, oh, what's Mickey spraying? Spraying alcohol. Let me get another um, soap remove. So this is another soap mold. And, um, sorry, if I forget, I have to put spray alcohol in it. Because uh, I used spray alcohol on the first one. You guys didn't see that though. Reason why it's a bit uh, we're having like a like like a stony part in it because one you know now the way I had to shred it I didn't shred it completely the way you guys would have actually shredded it because of time so it might still have a little bit of cocoa inside it but I think I like that cocoa inside it, it actually probably proves it to be black soap you know and makes it look different instead of being so smooth like every other soap. Have a little bit of soap remaining, we will just have to use it in an ordinary soap mold, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to cover this with a bubble wrap. I don't have something to use in covering it up, but I'm going to use bubble wrap to cover it up. So, um you know, no, just to prevent it from dust, dirt, germs, you know what I mean. That's why I'm going to cover it up. So, um, I'll show you guys the final verdict by tomorrow. Yes, it should be ready by tomorrow. But right now, it can be dried up by today. Alright guys, so I guess you guys actually enjoyed that video. Well, the sad part is we couldn't wait for it to get molded, but trust me now, by tomorrow I'm going to show you guys how it gets to mold and how it will actually lather up, okay? The reason why I didn't, I, we couldn't wait when it gets uh, molded completely is because one, it's late. You know, I have to create the video now. If I, if I don't create the video now, I probably won't create it today. That's the thing. So it would make me look like a liar, which doesn't make sense. So, um... By tomorrow, it should have, yes, now, 24 hours. And um, there's something you should know about when you want to use a bar soap. It's way, way better to wait for a day or two days before you start applying bar soap on your body. Because one, because of the lie, it has to settle down, you know. And I already said in the video, you can decide to use rose water instead of vegetable glycerin. Okay, because when you use vegetable glycerin, it makes it a bit difficult for the soap to solidify. But I like vegetable glycerin because it, makes, it helps in cleansing the skin really well. But it just makes it a little bit harder for it to solidify properly. And apart from that, if you want to use your rose water, honey, make sure you warm up that rose water before you add your whitening additives. Don't use rose water like that before adding your whitening additives. Warm up the rose water and you add your whitening additives to it. If you want to use your vegetable glycerin, there's no need to warm up your vegetable glycerin. You just put it into the vegetable glycerin, that's all. So, um, yes, I'm still going to warn people if you're just watching the channel for... If you're just tuning in right now, I'm still going to warn you. Mickey doesn't have any WhatsApp group. I'm still going to be seeing you on every of my video from now onwards. So as to actually inform people. Because I'm sure some people have actually fallen prey to it. Mickey doesn't have any WhatsApp group. I have never created one. I'm not going to create one. So please, anybody who creates a WhatsApp group saying uh, she's a friend to Mickey, she knows Mickey, and uh, Mickey sells her ebook, so 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 and so, she will talk to Mickey to sell the ebook to them. It's a lie. It's a lie. My business is a sole proprietorship business. I don't have, a, it's not a partnership business. I work alone. Okay? So please, please, please desist from using my name to defraud people. I'm begging you. If you want to make money, make money of your own name. Don't make money using my name. It is wrong. It is really, really wrong. Please, please, please. I just decided not to call her name. I would have decided to push all the WhatsApp messages here. And that would have even caused problems for her not to make sales in her business. But my brothers actually educated me, telling me, no, 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 don't do that. Just make them aware that people should not, you know, go there instead of lying about it that I have a WhatsApp group. So, honey, Mickey Skincare does not have any WhatsApp group. I don't have one. I have never created one. I intend to create a mobile app 
you know so we actually do mobile app we don't do whatsapp group what the, what is whatsapp group about i really don't know so it's a mobile app i'm trying to create not a whatsapp group i've never had one i would not have one all right please and um, please and um, please don't fall prey to it all right i would have actually put up the name but then again she might not even be the only person doing it that's the thing there are so many people someone have actually said this to me before but i felt mm, i just had to uh this one just won't talk but it's an eye opener you know someone just opened my eyes today to make me know babe that they, they, they use your name they take make money on. and it's bad because if they want to arrest someone now i'll be the one arrested and that is really really wrong so please mickey does not have a whatsapp group i'll keep saying it every time on my channel these are the same people that will still insult me she's rude she's this they are the ones still using my name to shine please and please mickey does not have any whatsapp group if anybody should tell you they are creating a whatsapp group mickey's on the whatsapp group it's a lie it's a big lie and if anybody should say she knows mickey she's a friend to mickey she will talk to mickey mickey will actually uh, reduce the ebook or she will purchase the ebook on her behalf it's a lie you can always talk to Mickey via my website, www.mickeyskincare.com. Or my, you definitely find my number by the left corner of my website. You will definitely find my number there. So you could always call me up, talk to me directly, not through someone. It's a sole proprietorship business. I don't have a partnership. I'm not into any partnership business. There is no middleman in my business. I'm the only person running my business. So please, please, and please, I'm, I'm employing you guys now. So if you guys actually want to go waste your money somewhere else, uh, they created the WhatsApp group, it's Mickey. Mickey has nothing to do with it. So bad. So guys, if you're just tuning to my channel and you're just watching me now and you're still not subscribed, seriously, you need to subscribe. <laughs> I'm just being naughty. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I love you guys like Kilo Day. Bye, guys.